Monopoly actually goes back to the early 1900s. It was based on a game from England called The Landlord's Game. And then um, a fellow by the name of Charles Darrow from Philadelphia, he used the streets of Atlantic City because they were well known. You know, Atlantic City was a nationally known resort back in the, this is the early 1930s. Um, and everybody, if you said boardwalk, everybody would know what you were talking about. They all knew Atlantic City and, the, and you had that vision of the boardwalk by the ocean and, you know, very nice hotels and pricey properties and things. Um, and so he decided to use the streets from Atlantic City to, um, to create his, his version of the landlord's game, to create his version of, of what is now Monopoly. It's really interesting. Anywhere you go in the world, you meet people that have a connection to Atlantic City and it has such a big brand. Um, we are really fascinated what, with what the future of Atlantic City can be. You know, we're really interested in the history of the city because it's incredibly rich and sometimes often forgotten because the last 40 years have been so dominated by one industry um, that there's an incredibly rich history of the city going back to the 1800s. We're, we're inspired by that history, um, but we, we aren't sort of trapped by the history either. You know, we see the potential for the city itself, um, whereas it feels like the last X amount of years have been focused on just one part of the city or small parts of the city. That's what we think about all day. Obviously, we have the feet on the ground doing the work, but we also have our, our kind of heads in the clouds sometimes around what could be, which we really believe it can be a, a world-class city uh, and will be ultimately a world-class city. Uh, it's really interesting, this idea of like, we're on the Atlantic Ocean, we have tremendous beachfront boardwalk property and the only thing you want to do is be inside of a box, right? Like that it's, it, it made sense when casinos were, were new and, and novel, right? The concept of it was very like alluring. Um, I think that that has evolved. And so we're really excited to see um, the other assets of the city be put to the forefront. argue that there wasn't a collapse. Atlantic City has always been a city of ups and downs, almost, uh, you know, you could compare it to like the phoenix, you know, that rises from the ashes when, when everything is burnt down. There's a phrase that some of the old timers use that is um, three months to hurry and nine months to worry. And that's the way the economy was back then, because you had three months to make all the money that you could, because in the off season, those nine months when the beaches and things were closed and the tourists weren't around, you had to struggle, you know, you had to, you know, so people would work three and four jobs during those three months. And then during the nine months, they would try to make the money stretch out. Um, and so that is the way that things used to be done. Now it's a year round resort. I think that Atlantic City will certainly find another way to reinvent itself. It's not like it's collapsed and it's not like it's um, at it, on its last legs. I think it'll just evolve into something new. You know, there'll be more. Sort of opportunity presented itself where you had three beach blocks that were um, more or less empty lots, abandoned buildings, like just very desolate, you know. Um, and there's still a lot of that, even though we've bought a considerable amount of um, empty buildings and lots. Right now we're in the Leadership Building, which was the first new business that opened in the Orange Loop, was the Leadership Studio in 2016, uh, 2017, excuse me. Um, and we're doing 10 apartments here uh, with a common area. We're working on a bar restaurant concept called Cardinal Restaurant and Hotel. Um, so it'll have, uh, it'll be a chef driven new American restaurant, really like kind of the only new American restaurant outside of a casino. The vision is how do we make this work in these three blocks and then have people copycat us and, and steal from us, which is we hope that that happens, and then um, keep building out because there's a lot of work to do in the city.